Good morning, afternoon, or evening. This is Ben, and this is part seven, I'm pretty sure. I think maybe in the last video I said which part it was wrong, but this is part seven to Risk of Flame, our game that we're building in Game Maker Studio. And let's jump right into this. The first thing we're gonna do, well, actually, let me show you something uh, really fast that one of the viewers pointed out, and he actually fixed it as well. But there is a glitch that he found, which is awesome because this means like I'm not the only one that tests this game, right? You guys can test it. We can find glitches together. But here's the thing: the shooting. If you uh, if you press if you press the shoot right after jumping, did you see that? He flies clear up. So that's kind of cool. But we don't want to leave that in the game because it looks weird. So here's how you fix it. He actually he actually sent this solution in and there's probably other ways to fix it but you know it was simple. I was like why not just go with the simple solution. That's what he did. So grab this gravity code that's in your player. This whole code right here that's labeled gravity and come into your this this uh, your object player 3 shot and come down to here and just paste this gravity code. Now we're just going to cut out everything that has to do with images because we don't want to do anything with images or jumping. So as far as I can tell, this code right here, if you need to pause, this code will fix that glitch. So it's kind of hard to tell because it's hard to reproduce, but I'm pretty sure that fixes it. So let's see. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that fixes it. Um, now, let's uh, let's create our enemy. So I've already created an enemy sprite, and this is it right here. Just like a fiery looking thing. I think they have some enemy that's pretty similar to this in Risk of rain so why not risk of flame right we're risking the flame creatures that we're going to attack so um, basically all I did is I drew this image right here which is a pretty easy image to draw if you need to pause you can kind of copy it whatever I think this is the exact same size as the player it's like 20 by 16 oops didn't mean to do that so uh, yeah I drew this image and then I just copied it and drew like some slightly different images like just changed it a little teeny bit without ever moving the eyes to get this animation so here's my first image here's my second image and here's my third image if you want to pause on those and copy them whatever but here's the thing I don't want to spend forever drawing stuff also I modified the collision mask to make it the full image just click full image that's what I did for now and obviously centered the sprite so there's this enemy. So let's create an enemy object. And we're going to call this object enemy flame. And we're going to give it this sprite right here. And actually, uh, one more thing we need to do inside of our bullet, we want to add an event and do an outside room. And if we go outside the room, what do we want to do? instance destroy because whoa I've got some W's in there because we don't want the bullet to last forever the game will start to lag because it'll have to control all these bullet objects that are out in infinity land and that would be a pain so let's come into our enemy and we're going to add an event we're gonna add a create event and we're gonna set the enemy's image speed I'm gonna do four image speed equals sorry point four I'm gonna set his health to HP equals six give him an HP of six so let's uh, come into your player three shot object and copy that same gravity code that we had and we're gonna do a step event for the enemy and copy that gravity code into the step event. And then come into your player 3 shot and copy the code. 
oops, not your, uh, in the actual player event, copy the code that's for collisions with walls and do that same collision event for the enemies. And I'm going to give the enemy a negative. I will leave the depth at zero. Who cares? And okay. That looks pretty good. Now what we want to do is we want to add a collision event with a bullet inside of our enemy. And we're going to do with other, which what's the other object in our collision? That's the bullet instance destroy. So we're going to destroy the bullet when we collide with it. We're also going to subtract from our health HP minus equals one. And that's it. And then inside of our step event, well, let's see. First, I'm going to destroy the bullet and subtract from HP. Awesome. Now, I'm going to do one more thing. Inside of our step event, we're going to add uh, some code. Um, I'm going to call this die code. Very, very creative, right? If HP is less than or equal to zero, HP equals zero, and instance destroy. Okay, so if our enemy's health is less than zero, we're going to destroy it. So we've got six health, so it should take uh, two, three shots to kill this enemy. Let's place it in the room now. And I don't have any artificial intelligence, so... Yeah, no artificial intelligence right now. I'm going to place three of them in the room. It's just going to stand there and animate and going to die. So we're just going to kill it and it won't be able to do anything about it. But that's how this game goes right now. But I really like the enemy in contrast with the background because it's orange and the background's blue, so that looks cool. But let's try a. Okay, you can see if we shoot them six times, they die. And there's not really any effects or anything like that, but we'll start adding particle systems into this and we'll get some cool effects to go with that. But you can see it works. You can kill the enemies and. That's awesome. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, tomorrow we will get into the artificial intelligence for the enemies and maybe some particle systems for the game. Um, if you guys find any glitches, be sure and email me because I want to make sure that you know everyone knows about it. If you see a glitch, show me and we can get it fixed and I can you know make sure that everybody knows about it. So thank you viewer who helped me out before. I don't exactly remember your name or your fake name or whichever it was you had in your email, but thank you so much for sending that in and uh, you guys make sure and share this video. I appreciate all of your help that you've given me and your feedback. I'm trying to make these videos better and better, trying to give you more content, but keep it simple too so that you can learn. So I will talk to you guys later.